observe the meanings of individual silent spells. Let me start by welcoming all of you to this second edition of the Anti-Conflict and um, Inclusive Journalism Award, which is being organized by the Media Reform Coordinator, MRCG, in partnership with the Minority Rights Group Africa, MRG, with funding support from the European Union. Now, if you can recall, uh, October last year, we held a similar session like this, where we awarded deserving journalists who wrote extensively well on the same topic, on the, the engaging the media and minorities to act for peace building projects. So on that note, I would like to call on the national coordinator for a brief remark, mm -hmm. Dr. Soa. We are delighted to have the second and final awards under this project. Um, this is a two-year project we have won with the Minority Rights Group Africa, which is also a part of the Minority Rights Group International. Within the course of the two years, we have had various engagements. We have had uh, journalists taking courses in minority rights issues. We have had uh, activists also taking part in similar courses. We have had extended visits in Ghana, in Senegal, and then we, have, we had our colleagues from Senegal and uh, Ghana, they also came to Sierra Leone. So it has been a period of learning and unlearning and relearning. And um, this is one of the projects in which the resources had actually gone down to the actual beneficiaries who are the media practitioners. We are ending the project in the next couple of weeks. In fact, we should be having the project uh, closing meeting not too long from now. But we believe that the initiative is not something that is going to end. And whilst there will be prospects for the continuation of similar initiatives, we also hope that those who have been part of it will continue in such engagement even as we look for future opportunities. Let me take this opportunity to thank the board of the MRCG, which have been supporting in terms of pushing this um, work forward. And also to the member organizations for the tremendous work they have done in implementing this project. When we started this project some two years ago, we were not clear as to what we were going to achieve within the two-year period. But the member organizations and the board, all of us put together our little ideas and we have come this far. Let me also in a special way thank all the journalists and all the activists who have been part of the, the, the session, particularly so when those training programs were online and we know the challenges that we face with uh, the platforms here in Sierra Leone. There were challenges of connectivity, there were challenges of um, even timely um, um, release of resources in some, in some instances. But the journalists and the activists had played their part. And we are happy to end on the note in which Sierra Leone, among the three countries, did extremely well in the implementation of the project. When we started, Sierra Leone looks like the smallest among the three. But in terms of what we achieved during the project, from the report that had come so far, we did extremely well. For that, we are very grateful to all of you who have made this possible. So, to the winners, there are no losers. And the committee will talk about how they went through the process, but to all those who will win, we'd like to say congratulations in advance. And to those who may not be fortunate to um, get to the point of winning, as they would like to win, we also know we are all part of this journey. It's a process. And uh, I wouldn't say trust the process, but let's work towards the process. Thank you very much. Please. And reports have been produced that have also gone to the international platforms. Thank you very much for that. I would like to now call on uh, one of our national organization partners, uh, sorry, national member organization, which is the Sludge, for uh, a statement. Everybody. Yes, sir. And um, let me start by extending 
appreciation on behalf of Snatch to be part of this all important event. For us in Snatch, we always celebrate excellence and we always feel proud to be part of such engagements because Sludge was not only formed to protect or guarantee press freedom or freedom of expression, but to also capacitate journalists. And what the MRCG is doing is the thing in the right direction towards complementing the work of Sludge. So we want to thank the MRCG for building the capacity of journalists and to also work towards achieving one of our goals, which is um, um, training journalists on spe specialized area of reporting because over the years, that is what we lack in the media. But now we are moving towards speciality. We are in, we now have the parliamentary, court, the parliamentary reporters, we have the court reporters, health reporters, and now we have people reporting minorities and groups. So we, which shows that there are developments in the media. So we want to appreciate you all for going through this process. And again, let me use this opportunity to say congratulations to the will-be winners and also better luck next time to those who will not be fortunate this time around because you are all winners, just like Mr. Sua said, you are all winners, there is no big loser. So let's work together and see that this project is successful despite the fact that it is coming to an end. We hope and pray that MRCG will secure more funds to extend the project. I thank you all. The, one of the evaluators to explain the processes leading to this award, what we are the criteria, the sets, and how they arrived as the finalists and also uh, reaching at uh, those who eventually won the prizes. Uh, Mr. Joshua Nico. For keeping you all waiting. I have some issues with my vehicle. You know when you see it, huh? And I have a very old vehicle. And it started acting like this morning because of the cold. But it went dead and all the rest of it. But thank in this um, competition. Okay? I also want to congratulate the MRCG. Because this is the second year the MRCG is hosting these awards. And the quality of the entries are all impressive. So we had a very difficult time in determining the winners. Because for just for example, one um, entry or entry, somebody who submitted entry, submitted up to 11 entries. We are in the condition for the submission of entries called for just two. So we are, are not saying to determine which of two, which of the 11, two we should take. Um, let me give you the criteria for the entry for our work. We looked at the originality of the story and the issues addressed. Because you know now in, the, in this day and age of internet and chat GPT, people will just um, type something out and you get something and then you want to present. So you want to look at the originality of the story. We look also the depth of the investigative work. Then the potential impact of the story. What impact would the story have? We looked at um, authentic representation of minorities within the story. And finally, a strong call to action for policy, for policy formulation and implementation. Because the stories all have to do with what? Minorities as well as um, anti-conflict. So we looked at all of those. And then we realized, let me read a um, comment sent by Dr. Masako. He says, the quality of work is a true reflection of the quality of higher, especially those of us in academia, imparting knowledge and skills. The pieces are investigatively largely robust, original, informative, structured, authentic, potential for impact, with clear call for action in analysis and conclusion. So they are no I want to congratulate 
the participants and also congratulate the winners. We shortlisted six winners and we are told that only about three or five, three. So you see how difficult our job was. But anyway, in everything, we say, we give thanks. If you do not win this time, you're going to win. win um, is the project coming to an end? I hope not. Because it's a worthy exercise. It's a worthy exercise to stimulate um, good journalism. It's a worthy exercise to stimulate good journalism, especially in the young ones. For us, we are about to step out of the professional scene. We want to be with the profession to people with safe hands who will take care of the profession to the next level. So I want to thank you all for taking part and to MNCG for providing this opportunity for us to make our own modest contribution towards the success of the project. I thank you all. Ms. Patricia Sarko. We are studios winners and also the finalists. We therefore call on we therefore call on Mr. Kavik to hand over hand over the certificates to the winners and also to the finalists. We have six finalists and three winners, first, second, and third. But, um, we'll start with the final.
after the civil war. Diamonds contribute to, to suffer, to cause suffering for mining communities. That one is very telling. Don't forget that the 10 year or 11 year civil war was engendered by what? It lost for diamonds. That's why some people refer to the war as Lord Diamond's War and all the rest of it. So he went back to look at what's happening within the diamond communities. Ibrahim Ansari's story looked at women fighting while um, plastic waste on feet and beaches. We see them every day, but we don't think that we should, uh, what is it? An initiative does not go beyond just seeing them, the women, fighting plastic waste or collecting plastic waste. We just dismiss them. But well, that's a very big story. And I'm sure that story will make it internationally. Um, I will sign the MMA since look at excessive heat wave gripping McKinney as land degradation is taking its toll. Alfred Koruma's The Untold Story of Mobile Money Accounts. What happened? What happens to the users when users pass away? If you have your mobile money in your account, some of you have up to 5, 10, 15, 20,000. And then you die suddenly. Are you angry no more than your password? How will your next of kin or whoever get access to it? So we are heaping up money for what? For the mobile phone operators, the MNOs. And also, the last, um, not last, Sia Patricia Devao, the the Forgotten minority, sea miners, and their perilous struggles. That also plays a thing. All of the, all of you are winners. Don't look at um, say that because I did not receive a check this time and all the rest of it. No, you looked at the quality of the story and the relevance to the situation. Once more, I congratulate all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much to Mr. Nick for that. Mr. Nimocha. Thank you. Um, in this kind of situation, you never know whether you are winning or not. And therefore, there is no preparation for what you are going to see. But I just want to say that I am very happy that I won it and like the speakers have said we are all winners I mean for all of us who participated we are all winners because we have something in the first place to present as our, as our you know our entries I mean we took time to write these stories and I want everybody who participated to see this as, as a win for all of us and for me I hope this can serve as motivation to other journalists, you know, it's not just about the winning and getting the prize, it's about your work being recognized. And we all know as journalists what that means. And I will, I will commit here that I will use my experience, you know, to share whatever I have with anybody who is willing to learn from me. And I hope um, anybody who hears me will be ready to share in whatever knowledge I have to share. I want to thank MRCG for the opportunity, the judges um, for, for selecting me uh, based on what you feel like it's the, uh, the, you know, what, the work that I did. I want to thank you for this. And everybody else who is here, thank you. Thank you.
And you know what amazing grace. Reverend John Newton. He was originally a slave to England. His boat came under a um, heavy storm of the Irish roof. It was then that he accepted Christ, that he sank all over the world. Because it's a true story of God's interesting world. Also another one. A sweet name of Jesus Samuel. So those are the things that were absent in your story. That you should have kept going around. What's his name?